What is going on guys, DBG here. And in this video, we are going to be going over all of the stats of the new Evo cards. So lads, if you guys could subscribe to this channel, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. And leave a like, because I'm telling you this right now, I bought all of these cards. I'm, I'm pretty sure I overpaid for all of them, just so I could see the Evos, what badges and everything they get for this video. So lads, just for all that, we couldn't get Lamelo Ball, but I'm pretty sure Lamelo Ball is going to be way overpriced anyway. And literally, the only reason to get Lamelo Ball is one, he's Lamelo Ball, and two, two, if you want Cam Reddish. That's literally it. That is literally it. So anyway, we are going to be going over all of these players right now. So we are going to start off because we're going to go over the stats, uh, the base stats, and sigs of a card, and then we're going to go over their Evo first. So the first player we are going to go over here is Cole Anthony. So Cole Anthony is 6'3 with 6'7 wingspan, which is not bad. 82 78. Comes with 76 3 ball off rip, 82 mid. 85 speed, 85 acceleration. Comes with bronze range extender. No quick first step. Even though his speed is pretty nice, not gonna lie. So I'm guessing he'll get a quick first step. No defense whatsoever, though. The problem with him is like his defense is non existent. Handles for days, Hall of Fame. I'm sorry, handles for days, bronze. And then last gen, he gets a couple more extra badges, but it's like deep threes and circus threes. I'm pretty sure range extenders, deep threes and circus threes on these um, gen anyway. So now we are going to go on to the game and we're going to have a look at his Evo. So Cole Anthony. Cole Anthony, it's a single Evo to a Sapphire. He has scored 60 fast break points for 23s and total five games. The 23s in five games shouldn't be too difficult because I think he's got a decent three ball 76. Uh, you very, very easily do that. TT offline, something like that, and you'll be able to hit. So that should not be too difficult to do in five games. But he gets a plus 14 close shot, plus nine mid range, plus 11 three ball, and a big upgrade to free throw. As well as that, but the badges are massive. It's gold range extender, gold flexible, which is a huge badge. Also gets gold hot zone hunter, gold difficult shots, and gold catch and shoot. For the athletic one, he gets quick for his step. He gets, obviously, a massive upgrade in speed. But, is he reading, like, his dunk, it actually, his dunk goes to 85. So, I actually would suggest going for the athletic one. I really would, because he still gets his bronze, he still has his bronze range extender. He still has a couple of good silver shooting badges. But he actually goes from nothing to gold in all of these badges. So, what I would advise you to do is definitely, I would go... If you're ever if you ever plan on using him, I would go the athletic upgrade. But in general, I think he's just going to be used to get. Um, I think he's just going to be used to get the final reward. That's really all people are going to use him for. So that is what I'm going to say about Cole Anthony. Then we got RJ Hampton. So RJ Hampton went a lot lower than people expected in the draft. Not going to lie, hot zones like nowhere, which is a big problem with current gen. No shooting badges. 69 three point shot. Really good speed, two ball acceleration. Silver quick first step. No defense at all. His SIGs, um, actually, sorry, I never went over to SIGs for Cole Anthony. Cole Anthony SIGs, Pro 5 behind the back, great current gen, bad next gen. Paul Pierce base, great next gen, bad current gen. Um, and, sorry, for RJ Hampton. Does he still get the God tier? No, he doesn't have the God tier release of last year. Same release as Anthony Edwards, Jamal Murray. I don't know what that release is like, really, to be honest. Pro 6 behind the back, great current gen, awful next gen as well. So now we're going to have a look at his evo card so let me just my mouse is really it's it's not really responding right now apologies trying to get this off screen so poor day hampton he's got athletic or play making upgrade play making gives him makes him speed boost but most of the time he'll be speed boosting with guys around them on the floor and um, he gets gold dimer his quick first step goes to gold it's gold and pluckable his dribble six aren't the best anyway but then for the athletic upgrade, he gets like fast refinish for showtime. His speed goes up to 93, which is really nice. But he doesn't get the quick first step upgrade. Uh, I think I'd probably go. I mean, 40 assists is a lot easier than 50 dunks. So I think I would. Um, I think I would go for sorry, the athletic one. But again, I don't think either of them are great. He's particularly great on either. So. Then we got Patrick Williams, who again, despite being the fourth pick in the draft, only goes up to a um, Sapphire. 
I don't think they expect him to go this high, not gonna lie. 81 speed, 83 acceleration, 71 speed ball, not terrible. Defense is pretty decent, and shooting's pretty decent. You know what? He could be a nice little sapphire card. Set shot 23 is the same as a Kong, who don't know what it is. He's got the Yanis behind the back, which is really, really nice. So that's not the worst thing in the world. And then let's just have a look at him. What is it? Where is he? Patrick Williams. So for his athletic upgrade, his three-pointer goes up to 79 for athletic upgrade. Make one dunk. Make one dunk. Okay. Um, so he's got he goes him a lot in strength, and for this one here, his defense, he goes him in lateral quickness. His clamps goes to gold. I mean, trust me, he's gonna be perfectly fine without these defensive badges. Get make, get one dunk with him. And um get the uh athletic one and then it turns out ironically enough the locker code gets you one guaranteed rookie which means that the prices of these cards are going to drop a hell of a lot i overpaid for all of them even more reason to like the video but on patrick williams i'm telling you patrick williams on this athletic upgrade is nice he's actually he'll be more than usable in like um limited if there's ever sapphires needed then we got Killian Hayes. So Killian Hayes, 6'5 point guard. Actually, what? One second. Patrick Williams, 6'8. Killian Hayes, 6'5. Big wingspan. Good speed acceleration. Good speed with ball. Decent lateral quick, or not good lateral quickness. Sorry. Decent speed or decent three ball. Decent six. Base 76. Don't know what it's like, but let's have a look to see what he's like on Evo. So he is um, Killian Hayes. So get a double-double for the first Evo. Gets a bunch of nice silver badges. He gets a lot of badges off that first Evo. His perimeter defense goes to 79 as well. His speed goes up a little bit. And let's see what his final Evos are. So he got a shooting upgrade, which gives him bronze range, a bunch of good. It gives him steady, which is great next gen, not going to lie. It gives his three ball an 86 while also getting some decent quickness here. Does he get quick for a step off this? He does not, by the looks of things. And then this playmaking, which gives him a much better ball handle, passing stats, and it gives him no quick for a step to go, quick for a step. I think I'd go for a shooting upgrade, not gonna lie, but he's not terrible. He's not actually terrible. I can't, I can't say he is. He's not terrible at all. Then we've got Tyrese Halliburton. So he's a 6'5 point guard as well. He goes up to a ruby, 79 speed, does not come quick for a step off rip, doesn't come up much on defense, but got catch and shoot. A decent three ball, not a great mid-range shooter. Stats wise, again, like a lot to be desired, but it all depends on how he is. They all are pro six behind the back, which is awful next gen, by the way. Um, Aaron Gordon, oh, Aaron Gordon base. Oh, that's on Googs. That's, I hate that base with a passion. But uh, 50 points and 50 assists, that's not easy to do. That takes so much time. That takes so much time. At least he gets bronze clamps off it. Give him quick first step, no. And then his other one, shooting and playmaking upgrade. He gets catch and shoot gold on the shooting one. He gets no range on the shooting upgrade, but his three pointer goes up to 86, I guess. And his mid range goes up. The playmaking upgrade, he gets gold quick first step. Speed of ball goes up. I mean, he's not great on either of them, not gonna lie. He's not great on either of them. So that's all I'm going to say. Then we've got Isaac Okoro. So Isaac Okoro, 77 speed, 77 acceleration. 74 speed with ball. I mean, he gets bronze clamps and bronze quick for a step, I guess. 6'6 six, six with a 6'8 wingspan. Awful dribble sigs. His release is nice, though. No hot zones. But his release is nice. I'll, I'll give him that. His release is pretty nice. Score 100, 100 points is not easy. You're going to be like, this is a grind and a half. That's all I'm going to say. This is a grind and a half. I mean, like every individual player is quick, but I mean, this is like a 24 hour grind at least. Get all these up. Um, Three ball goes up a little bit on the first one. Badges wise. I mean, he gets a few nice ones in that first upgrade. And his athletic upgrade, which gives him go quick for a step. Speed goes to 87, driving dunk goes to 85. And the defense upgrade, 
His clamps goes to gold. Intimidator. Pick Dodger goes up. Steel goes up. Lateral quickness goes to 91. I would probably go athletic upgrade, not gonna lie. I would probably go to athletic upgrade if I was if I were you on him. He's actually not bad either. We got Obi Toppin. Obi Toppin is the first one that goes up to he goes up to an amethyst. Starts off a 76-3 ball with silver cash and shoot. No defensive badges. Not great speed. Lateral quickness is 60 is not great. Speed of ball is not great. Six, he's got base 75, which is Jalen Brown. That's a nice release. Dribble six, non-existent though, so he's not going to be dribbling. Let's have a look at his Evo now. So Obi Toppin. So make 15 dunks, and his rebounding goes up and he becomes better rebounder. Okay, so that's kind of irrelevant there. And then we don't know what this one is, but the second Evo upgrades his post move and his strength. While giving him a bunch of post badges. Final Evo. He will either get Fast Break Finisher Hall of Fame. And he becomes quick. No quick for a step though. I definitely would probably go to shooting. Where he gets half catch and shoot. Yeah, no, he's a nice. He's nice. He becomes really nice if you give him the shoot. If you get him fully upgraded, that shooting upgrade. He becomes really nice. I will say that. No range extended, but he's 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 a dude. He's a demon. Like he's a really nice player. So that is what I'm going to say about him. Then we got Denny Avdia. So Denny Avdia, only one hot zone, unfortunately. 6'9 with a 6'10 wingspan. I wish he could play the two, but he can't. Although being a stretch for him might be the best place for him in game. He's a 73 three ball, 73 speed and acceleration. Not great lateral quickness, no clamps, but he does come a silver quick for a step, which is interesting. Um he's got the sad shot one. Uh, okay. Definitely playing on power forward then, I guess. I don't know. I don't think it's that bad. I've used Moses Malone. It's fine. But, yeah, it's still a little bit iffy. It's always a bit iffy seeing a set shot. But not all set shots are bad. Not all normal shots are good. So, he goes to Silver, Catch and Shoot. Pretty good badges here. And his three ball goes up to 79. Okay. That, this makes him a lot more viable, this first Evo. 25 faster points. You can do that in two games. Um, Second Evo gives him much better mid-range. His interior defense goes up to 74. His lateral quickness goes up to 80, which is really nice. Mid-range shot goes up. Nothing on three ball, though. He goes up to... Does he, he doesn't even get clamps. A difficult shot, lightning reflex. So he gets a few badges there. I hope this is not shooting versus athletic, is it? So he gets half dimer and a goal quick for his step. Whew. This one here. He doesn't really get many badges in this one, but his driving dunk goes to 85. So you can either make him... I wish he got quick for a step in his athletic upgrade. Like, basically, you're either getting... He's either getting slow. He can speed boost on this one, but it doesn't matter. He can speed... You're either getting a much upgraded speed or quick for a step. I mean, if you're looking next gen, go athletic. You're looking current gen, go playmaking. But he does get clamps on his sapphire, I'm pretty sure, doesn't he? He gets silver clamps on his sapphire. So he's going to be nice. Then he's going to be nice. Then he's going to be nice. He's definitely going to be one of the players that I will uh, enjoy using in game. Then we got Onyeka Okongwu. So Onyeka has got 63 ball, 74 speed. Pretty decent interior defense. Not really going to shoot the ball well, but going to be a good interior defender even off rip. His shot is set shot 23, which I don't know what it is. There's only one other card in the game that has it, and it's another card from this set. So... We're going to check what Okongwu's is now. So, Onyeka Okongwu is... Where is he? I obviously missed him. So, get a double-double. You can do that in one game. He goes up to a 66-3 ball. Goes up in a lot of stats as well. Get some decent post badges. And second upgrade, just rebounding. Oh, that's not much of an upgrade, is it? Okay, so then you can either get a much upgrade interior defense... Gets half tire as defender and silver clamps. Not really gonna shoot the ball, but he's gonna be a beastly defender. Not gonna lie. And silver interceptor. Or you can make him dunk on everybody, get much better speed. Yeah, go, no, go defense. Go defense with him. Trust me, go defense. He's nice. He's nice though. None of these are anything spectacular, by the way. Like, none of them are spectacular. Like, Cam is a beast, but none of these are spectacular. And we got James Wiseman. James Wiseman. 49 three ball. He gets gold quick for a step off rip though. 70 speed, 70 acceleration. That's interesting. That's really interesting. 
He has Sasha 30, which I don't know what it is because it's only him. Might be good, might be bad, but it is what it is. So let's have a look at James Wiseman. Um. Oh, why is Wiseman still in my auctions? Why is still in my auctions? Okay, that makes it a little bit more sense. So James Wiseman is... Score 50, block 5 shots. Mid-range goes with 3, but goes up to 60. Which means that he'll hit consistently from the corners on next gen, not gonna lie. His acceleration goes up, his speed goes up as well, and he already has go quick for his stab. Second Evo, his rebound, it's only rebounding, it's a Kongwu again. So he either gets like an 85 block, much better perimeter defense and lateral quickness, and gets Heart Crusher Gold. Or he gets a bunch of interior scoring badges and a bunch of post move badges. Get the defensive upgrade. He is n he's nice. Trust me, he's nice with defensive upgrade. He's like Dino. He's basically like another Dino with the defensive upgrade. Like, especially because he's 7 with a 7 6 wings He's just like a Dino 2.0. By the way, um, I did not mention Obi Toppin is 6 9 with a 7 1 wingspan. Kongwu is 6 9 with a. My cursor literally is not moving. 6'9 with a 7 wingspan as well. Then we got Edwards. Edwards, um, good speed to on acceleration. On a race shooter, same dribble six as last year. Base 80, which is Hampton. I don't know what it is. Never use any of those players, but I don't think it's great. Also, he has got. Let's try to find him. Score 15 points in the game, easy. Got an 82 mid range shot. 82 passing IQ, 80 uh, eight driving layup after these. He also gets bronze clamps of basically off rip, which is nice. That bronze clamps helps. He gets catch and shoot silver clamps. Oh, interesting. Three ball goes to 76. Perimeter defense goes up, ladder quickness goes way up. And then final upgrade, you've either got an 85 driving dunk and get a speed up to 91 while giving him gold quick for his step. Or. You can give him silver range extender and give him a three ball of 86. Uh, this is literally, there's no wrong choice. Both of these are pretty decent. And then LaMelo Ball, I'm going to go over six, but I do not have him. And as far as I'm aware, his um, Evo isn't actually that good. But LaMelo's a 6'7 with a 6'10 wingspan point guard. So I'm pretty sure he was 6'8 last year, if I'm not mistaken, in 2K20. But he's at a 73 ball off rip. Not great speed to ball acceleration. He's got not good defense. Obviously, he's going to be a fantastic passer. He can't even speed boost off glitch, off um, rip. He's got base 81, which is Josh. Josh, that's a really nice release. I'm going to say it. That's a really nice release. Um, Austin Rivers, weird looking upper. He no longer is a pro three behind the back. He's pro one, which is not bad. Um, but it's not great on current gen. So yeah, Lamelo is Lamelo. So now we are going to go and. We are going to type in the locker code for this right here. So the locker code um, for a free pack here is 2020. So if you want to get one of these free, 2020 dash rookies or O O K I E S dash Evo. Basically, you're getting a free one of these Evo cards anyway, which is insane. Dash in. Dash. M Y T E A M. I'm really bad at spelling, so I always get these wrong. So, this is what the code is. So, you're basically getting, you're getting a couple of tokens and you're getting one of these free packs, which is not bad. Which is not bad at all. But unfortunately, we didn't uh, get any tokens there. So, so NBA draft rookie, and let's open one of these packs. Funnily enough, when we were on stream today, we managed to get three Tyreek Evans. I was playing so much CTO, we managed to get three Tyreek Evans. Not one, not two, but three of them. Okay, so let's see who the card we got is. So we got Jim Boylan, one of the worst guys in the NBA. Dwayne Casey, we didn't even get a badge there, did we? Nope. Let's see. Give me Lamelo. Give me Lamelo. Give me Lamelo. We got Dupa Congo. That's not actually that bad. So 
yeah, that is pretty much it. That is a video if these guys are worth it or not. Overall, I'm going to say that in terms of if you want to get Cam Reddish, they're all they're like Cam Reddish is a demon. So if you want to get Cam, be my guest. Of these cards right here, I'm gonna say the only ones that you might use in game are James Wiseman because it was like quick first step and just his length. I think Denny might mightn't be half bad. I think Obi Toppin fully upgraded is okay. And Edwards is okay, fully upgraded. The rest of them, maybe Killian Hayes, I probably wouldn't use any of them. But yeah, so anyway, that is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.